What's up everybody? Welcome to 5 Minute Mixing Tips. Today I'm going to be talking about stereo imaging and I'm going to give you three quick and easy ways that you can widen your mix, get a bigger stereo image, and make your song that much more awesome. As usual, I'll be using FL Studio. However, these tricks I'm going to show you are going to work in any DAW of your choice. The first and probably the easiest way to widen your stereo image is going to be with a stereo enhancement plugin. There's dozens of them out there, every DAW comes with their own, and I'm just going to show you one that's native to FL Studio. So we've loaded up our track here. And the sound we want to focus on is this clap. Originally, if we isolate it, this is what this clap sounds like. It's pretty much a mono sound straight down the middle. And we want to give it some more presence, we want to widen it, so we're going to use Fruity Stereo Enhancer. Simple little plug-in, you can change the separation, offset the phase, panning, volume, pre and post, etc, uh, etc. Et but basically, all you really need to do is use the phase offset, we'll turn it on here, and check out our clap. It's going to go from centered to side to side. Once we have it at a spot we like, we're going to play our track back and move it around, see how it sounds in the mix. And that's pretty much it for tip number one to widen a sound. Use a Stereo Enhancer plugin. Alright, the second method I'm going to show you to widen your stereo image is with a delay plugin. So you want to load up your track and then isolate whatever it is that um, you want to widen. I'm going to be using a vocal. This is how it sounds on its own. Why do I keep on? Why do I keep on? Why do I keep on? Alright, so what you want to do to get this widened stereo effect is to duplicate the track that you're working with make sure it's assigned to its own mixer channel and then pan one your duplicate hard right and your first track hard left now if you play them together even though they're both hard left hard right they're still just gonna come out center why do I keep on why do I keep on so what you wanna do is use a delay plugin on just one of those two tracks I'm gonna put it on the right channel any delay plugin will work for this and all you're going to do is delay one of those channels around 20 milliseconds. Check out what happens. Why do I keep on? 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 If we play it back with the music, first without the delay, and then with it, you're going to see what happens. Why do I keep on? 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 Much wider, much bigger. Okay, the third method to widen your stereo image is very similar to how we use the delay plugin, only this time we're going to use an EQ. Just like before, you want to have a duplicated audio track, or in this case, I routed uh, everything to one mixer track and then to two more mixer tracks, essentially duplicating it. Again, you're going to pan one hard left and one hard right, but then you're going to use an equalizer on each channel that's my left one and that's my right one. And what you want to do is carefully cut some frequencies on each track and boost the opposite frequencies on the other track. You see how we have a dip with a rise here, etc, etc. And what happens when you play those back is that some frequencies are pushed left, some are pushed right, some are still center. So it really gives an interesting wide um, effect to the sound. In this particular case, I was sent a mono overhead recording um, of a live drum track, and, um, well, we really needed to give some depth to it. So let me just play this back to you first, uh, as it was originally, and then we're going to go ahead and play it back with the um, EQ applied. So here's our original track. And with this effect on it.
Mono. Stereo. And that's it right there for you guys. Three easy ways to widen your stereo image. As always, don't forget that you want to check your mix in mono, because when you do these stereo widening things, you can run into phase issues. Well, that about wraps it up for today. Thank you for watching this episode of 5-Minute Mixing Tips. Don't forget to check out our website, atolostudios.com, for more videos. You can download beats, um, talk on the forums, do all sorts of stuff. Feel free to leave a message in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, click the like button, and if there's anything particular you'd like me to do a video about in the future, please let me know. Thank you.